What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're making some poppers. That's right, we're making some jalapeno poppers. Football season is back finally. I love it. So poppers is not really the main part of this video. It's really about what we're going to put on the poppers or dip the poppers in. I'm not sure how to say it. That's got to wait till the end, though. That's a surprise. So you got to wait for that. But we're just going to make some... We're actually gonna make some frozen poppers on the black one. I've never done that before. So, so that part of it's new for sure. And we'll see how that works out. So here's what we got. We've got some jalapeno poppers from Fridays. These are frozen. I'm just gonna do my best to cook them on the Blackstone and we will see how those come out. And then we're gonna come up with a secret ingredient at the end that probably should not taste good but we will wait and see and see how it all turns out so what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process make it easy and fun make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell everybody let's get cooking so the cooking instructions say 350 fry deep fry but we're not going to deep fry we're going to uh, pan shallow fry in this giant pan of ours and we're just going to cook them for I don't know, three or four minutes on each side. We'll check them, make sure they're done. I'm sure they'll be fine. And we will go from there. All right, so here we go. We're gonna put down some oil right here for our shallow fry. Let these chill. Right now it's about 350 the temperature um, but it's climbing 360 370 on this side so starting slow so I'm just doing a small sample size as you can see I, I didn't want to test the entire bag I've never actually cooked frozen food on here before so well other than hash browns which those come out pretty good but I've never actually tried these so I always want to test in smaller portions that way if I screw up I have more to, to continue to test looking good looking good I'm just trying to be as gingerly as possible because again first time making these but they feel pretty pretty stiff so I'm sure I can turn them with the, the tongs but I just want to make sure all right we've got rain we got to move the blackstone a little bit bear with us All right, we are back out of the rain. <laughs> uh, still got power, still got flame. They're looking good. They're definitely looking good. Oh yes, they are definitely looking good. Oh yeah, they are looking phenomenal actually. Give you a little close up. Look at that. We are right there. It actually says 165 internal temperature. I did not know that. So this one's not quite there. This one is pretty much there. This one's not even close. We're gonna move these around. Move these over here, put these over here. So we get them all to 165. Apparently the cheese has to be 
the same temperature as chicken. <laughs> Who knew? That's not even close. So it's probably just still frozen inside. We'll get there. We are very close. That one's done. So I'm going to move this one over here, actually. This one, same thing. Pretty close. I'll move this one over here as well. He's done. So just a couple left. So we are going to, before it starts pouring, we're going to wrap these up. I'm going to put my secret sauce or dip, whatever we want to call it, and I will be right back. All right, so what's our secret ingredient? It's real simple. I don't want to hear, wow, that's it, because it's so simple, but it's so good, and you don't think it's going to taste good, and we don't know yet because we're going to test it out, so we will see. Here's what it is. It is some Duke's mayo. We're going to mix that up with some strawberries. That's right, in this case, some strawberry preserves I had left over. We're gonna throw in a little bit of garlic, and we are gonna put in a couple dashes of some habanero, that's right. I'm gonna call this our strawberry aioli. That's right, strawberry habanero aioli, and we shall see if it tastes good. We're gonna start off with one heaping tablespoon of mayo, one tablespoon of strawberry, in this case preserves. For the garlic, I just want to add in just a little bit, probably about a half a teaspoon of garlic. And then for the habanero, just a couple of dashes. That's it, two or three dashes. And that should be good. And then we're gonna mix this up really good together. And then this is what it should look like. You can adjust as needed, but we are gonna go give it a taste test right now. That's right, we have some poppers and strawberry aioli. That is the secret sauce, dip, gravy, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna check it out right now. I have not tried this on a popper yet, but I've tried it by itself and it's pretty dang good. But we're gonna try it just on the popper, give it a little more heat, give you a little close up, what it looks like. Looks pretty good, let me tell you. Looks pretty, pretty good. So here we go, cheers. Mm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay. The sweetness of the strawberries with the saltiness of the peppers. Oh my God, so good. Sweet, salt, heat, sweet, heat, pepper, cream cheese, mayo, habanero, it all works. Trust me, you have to try this out. You will enjoy it, I guarantee it. Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat, out.